at the Ted Rhodes Golf Course. We're gonna have a great day. We're gonna sweat, but I might lose some weight. Barry Elkins and his friend. Come with me, Sarah. <laughs> are getting back at it. Honestly, I haven't played in about two years. But I went and hit 110 balls yesterday, and I see why I hadn't played in two years. Like everyone here, they both saw the debate Thursday night and can agree there might be room for debate at a golf course. We're going way up there. Yeah, a lot of great debates get hashed out in that golf cart. But maybe not room for the golf course. I just won two club championships, not even senior. Two regular club championships. At a debate. Can't hit a ball 50 yards. He challenged me to a golf match. He can't hit a ball 50 yards. I got my handicap, which when I was vice president, down to a six. That's just two people talking, probably two bogus stories there that neither one can do. I've seen you swing, I know you swing. In a country as divided as ever. I was at eight handicap. What does it have to do with anything? Barry and Sarah say Thursday's debate. All right, Sarah, help me remember to look at the ball. You got it. Provided for a moment of ironic unity. For the first time, it's just funny to see everybody agreeing that this was so horrendous to watch that uh, we can all just kind of laugh together, and we yep. haven't done that in a really long time. I hope it don't happen again. again. My question yeah. was, what do you say to those voters? What do you say to black Voters the question just... was, what are you going to do to help Americans in the throes of addiction right now? Uh, it, it would be refreshing if both answered the questions that they ask. Golf can bring a lot of people together. Barry and Sarah say. I think this is probably a good example. I think Barry and I probably sit on the opposite sides of the fence most of the time, especially we do. politically. We do. But we can come out, play a good game of golf, go have a beer afterward, and it's kind of what I think is missing. But when it comes to figuring out who should lead the free world, they say maybe the golf talk should be left to the amateurs. Sarah did tell me when I first met her years ago, Barry, you may hear me curse profusely. <laughs> and I said, that's okay. <laughs> Jason Lamb, News Channel 5.